We sent the boys off to Hawaii for the 2022 Ironman World Championships. And we've already been treated with incredible athletic performances and great GTN content. But now for the part you've all been waiting for, a behind the scenes view of what really goes on in Kona. the SFO airport. We've had a, an hour and 20 minutes including passport control, collecting, rechecking our bags and getting to our gate. We are 10 minutes from gate closing time. We're gonna make it. No time for dinner though. Made it. First morning in Kona, just woke up after arriving well after dark last night and no food in the house. So first uh, mission, find some food. The boys have never seen Kona before so there's a lot of wide eyes going around in the car. <laughs> What are we doing, James? Sitting in an air-conditioned room, scripting the show and various other things to get the uh, filming started. The uh, British contingent insisted that the doors close and the aircon uh, comes on, even though there's the ocean run up there. Uh, we just had breakfast. We're back to flat. Had a little lie down and coffee, and now we're um, just going for lunch now. Um, <laughs> Tough day in the office. It's been a big day, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've just been scripting the show. We are now off out to the Energy Lab. Hottest point of the day as well. Uh, to the Energy Lab, probably not a wise idea, but uh, yeah, off to film, a bit of a course preview and the show. Go. Yeah, as for the bike course, well, it's nothing short of tedious. After a fast and frantic navigation. Oh, f <laughs> Get out, man. Uh, it is. Ah, sorry. sorry. So we've got a car. Same <laughs> <laughs> so 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 as like, I got it. What I just said. <laughs> Severely punishes anyone that miss. Um, uh, miss. Miss. Uh, <laughs> something like that. It's uh, photo shoot time. We are, uh, Mark and Quinn have gone off to do a pro bike and Rob and I are doing a shop photo shoot so you can buy these shirts. Doing the uh, blue steel. Trying to anyway. <laughs> At least uh, the background and surroundings is pretty scenic, even if uh, the model leaves something to be designed. Bit of an early start this morning. Found out um, that the Norwegians are heading out early on a ride. They're doing the full bike course. Um, in fact, me and Christy were messaging each other at quarter to four this morning, as you do when you've got jet lag, and uh, invited us along. So we are tracking them on the bike now, getting some shots, um, and then probably going to grab some much needed coffee. So yeah. Oh, We, uh, we've just popped down to the swim start, so this is uh, quite an iconic uh, part of Kona, um, the Ironman World Championship course. Uh, we've got a couple of things going on at the moment, we've just come back from filming with the Norwegians this morning. Uh, James is just filming another video. Um, we've got 
a little bit of downtime just before then picking back up with the Norwegians, filming with Leon's. We've got a few other videos going on today. Um, but yeah, just soaking it all in right now. All right, let's do it. Mark hasn't uh, shot his bike together properly. Look, he said, okay, look. You should really take the Kenyan Speedmax out, and then he just didn't put it together properly. No, so it's all loose. On. And he's all like, right, You'll look. be okay. Ride it on the highway with massive trucks. What could possibly go wrong? We left in a bit of a rush this morning. Very last minute invite from the Norwegians. It was an early start, and I admittedly had forgotten about that. He told me the bike was ready. All you had to do is pump up the tires. Check the levels. One, yeah, two, sure. Check the levels. Check, check. <coughs> that was a good one. Okay, you got us all? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Rolling? Hundred percent. That was very impressive. Well done. The rest are just redundant. <laughs> Bit of entertainment. Tell us a bit more about that. Yeah. Uh, that's Love it. And Pancho Man, come and take us out, my man. Nice one, guys. Perfect. Thank you very much. No, thank you. I'll need that. Uh, it's Sunday, Every week. Uh, leading into race week, um, which is swim training day, or swim race, as it normally becomes. Uh, so we've got a whole squad with us today. Um, Quinn, cameraman, has put on the gauntlet and he says he's going to beat us all, so uh, game on. Yeah, I mean, these things escalate, you know, you know everything with Mark escalates. Now, now it's a massive race, but I would like to get under an hour. Uh, we'll just have to see, you know, like, I just love a good challenge. How's it swim, mate? Uh, great until about 400 meters oh. to go. <laughs> I was like, oh, I might actually kick on and try and like bridge up to the next group. <laughs> That's what you get when you don't train, mate. Yeah. It's going so well. Still 50, 56 minutes, 55 minutes, I think. Nice. <laughs> that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Now we wait for Quinn. He's going to get his PB. He should be in the next two minutes. <laughs> One hour, plus eight. <laughs> <laughs> and some. What up, mate? We've had a busy day at work. Come to the Zwift house to do a little wrap up of the Zwift Triathlon Academy. Uh, Mark is currently looking at the uh, Zwift Triathlon Academy bike by Specialized, and they've got a pretty sweet setup. So uh, we're just going to hang out here for a while, I think. I mean, as soon as I walked in, someone offered me a beer and it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? So, uh, back to work. We've got our community run this morning. Uh, yeah, it's at 8am, we've got a bit of a call to anyone that wants to come and join. Uh, meeting outside Lava Java. We've got a bunch of our Kona tees that you've seen us wearing to hand out as well, which people seem to be loving. Unfortunately, we haven't got many left. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> time and that means it's tech tour time yeah should we go see what we can find let's go let's go what's happening james no 
Well, Mark is uh, getting into Christian Blumenfeld's suit so that he can uh, play a gag on him, but uh, he's making a meal of getting into the suit. I am um, not sure Christian does this on race morning. He'd be exhausted. There's quite a crowd gathering behind Mark too Maybe to watch, you know. Yeah. Christian. Christian. Thanks. Who was it better, eh? I think I'm actually looking at Thanks, thanks. Huh? It's unfortunate. Yeah, I reckon he's looking good. It's a bit cleaner than you. That's true. You got a new one for race day. I have a new one for race day. Uh, yeah. This morning, Mark? Uh, well, uh, we're trying to get to the underpants run. Pretty sure we're not going to make it. <laughs> uh, we're in a queue quite a far way out, from, quite a way out from um, Valle Ocona. Um, one way of getting out of running around town in your underpants, though, I guess. Yes. It's a standard Tuesday morning. Yep. Out for jog. I feel really like, like we're sticking out at the moment, but I think when we get around the corner, we'll be uh, fitting around in. No, we're still sticking oh, no. out. Still sticking out. <laughs> yeah, definitely still sticking out. <laughs> I'm thinking about the extra tanning time for my very white chest. <laughs> so we aren't the only ones running down. Yeah. Wow. One person. <laughs> I'm not even sure he's doing the underpants. Yeah, <laughs> he's running the wrong way. Post underpants run. Start for a dip at Digby Beach. Definitely don't feel like we are uh, standing out so much now that we're uh, finished the underpants run. Volcano triathlon day, as you do. Uh, yeah, we're about to go up Mount Akir, uh, starting early, Digby Beach, so we're on our way over, actually picking up Andy Blow for precision fuel and hydration. Uh, he's gonna help us out today. Yeah, it's the easiest intro to a video, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, three, two, one, go. These boys are on their volcano triathlon. They're about 30 minutes into the climb. It's probably going to take them four hours or so. Very steep, very hot. I've got this funny feeling right now where I keep wanting to like loosen my cap off. It just feels too tight. Yeah, I'm that I've got to grab it and then it's really loose. It's just my head. update on what we've done today we had an epic day pretty epic day we did our Mauna Kea volcano triathlon which was as epic and hard as it sounds yeah I'm just yeah. Uh, just scrolling through Strava actually um, to get any KOMs oh yeah I mean it was a big M for that KOM <laughs> to be fair so uh, yeah it was a tough day it's now tipping with rain and we're uh, heading back to Kona to do a bit more work, another pro bike. Uh, we're gonna have to rock paper scissors for who does that one because uh, I'm not counting coke. I think. Yeah, coffee and coke because uh, we're pretty knackered after a fair amount of time with no oxygen or low oxygen. Uh, we're gonna have a nap in the car on the way to this pro bike. Leary eyed. Just walked out of the club 
I mean, sorry, <laughs> we've just woken up. Uh, we're off to watch the women's start. Um, yeah, women's race day. Uh, not gonna lie, we are all very tired. We've had a lot of early mornings this week. Uh, Might be a technical nectar in the back leg. <laughs> but we can't miss the women's start, so off we go. We're gonna walk, jog, probably more walk than jog. Literally there in about 30 seconds away from starting and we've found a pretty good spot here on the rocks. Uh, For now, until the tide comes until in. Until the tide comes in, but hopefully we'll be uh, it's, quite, it's actually quite an overcast day over Kona. Okay, yeah, okay, no. big cloud coming over the swim start, but uh, not raining yet. I'm sure it'll clear. I'm sure it'll clear. So we just uh, left the swim viewing point that we had because you can't really see anything now. Uh, they're about to come out of the water. We're heading to hot corner at the bottom of Polani, so we can see them come out of T1, and then they're going to come around and back down up Kukini. So then uh, we can get some splits for you guys. We're just watching up in the condo and seeing the Daniela's on the run, Daniela and Lucia on the run. So we come down downstairs or cold beer with us. Uh, they're just around the corner. Any second I'll come around the corner. Now we're gonna fill up our water pistol tank. Gotta keep an eye that way for the uh, boys coming back. <laughs> After a long hot day in the uh, support team, this is the carnage that we get see at home. Quinn. Yes, mate. Editing on the floor. Mark's also collapsed on the floor. How's uh, how's the Ironman treated you, Mark? It's been a tough day, mate. Yeah, rest up because uh, about 36 hours, we've got to do it all again. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, who are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for Patrick, number 2339. Patrick Talbot, actually. A uh, lady on the other side of the road has literally been shouting, go Patrick, two, three, three, nine, to everyone that goes past. I'm recording every single person just in case. So I was gonna like put her out of her misery and just track him and let her know whether he hadn't even started the swim in the fact, but he is actually coming past. Patrick, two, three, three, nine. <laughs> Zero o'clock, is that what you said? So we are out on the Queen K, on the run run leg. I'm not even sure what mile marker that is, uh, but we're uh, out where it's absolutely big. And we're watching the pros suffer their way past. We just did our- Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Guess what we did? We got to bring any water. Yeah. We're, uh, suffering a little bit. Not as much as the athletes though, to be fair. Things we have to do. So what are we saying about the Ironman World Champs, Mark? Well, I've got to say it was very, very impressive racing and of note, both Kona Champs are Kona Novices yeah. and just their second Ironmans. Yeah, it's incredible. Kona 2022 done. Mate, yeah. it's been a great trip, hasn't it? Favorite yeah. moment? Uh, interviewing the Ironman world champion, Chelsea Sodoro. That, yeah, that was good. Uh, beer mile? No, actually, no, it's got to be better than that. No, the Norwegian chat we had, yeah. uh, actually on the whole with all of them, was Hanging just out with amazing. Them, yeah. really, cool. really cool. It's been a wholly different experience for me, this Kona, compared to my previous trips here. But I've really enjoyed it. I hope you guys have enjoyed following along and stay tuned for all of our Kona content that is still to come. It's quite romantic, really, isn't it? Yeah, one last sunset in Kona. It is quite special. Yeah. Oh.